when we fight, we don't have rules. We don't have, we have no rules. Because we train for real self-defense. Self real self-defense, I mean real fight. When you have a real fight, you have no rules. There are no concessions to the women that study here. They are expected to stand up to the sparring with the male students in preparation for actual fighting conditions. Wing Chun was the Kung Fu style that Bruce Lee started to learn when he was 13. He was in Hong Kong then. His full development as a master was after he moved to California. It was in Los Angeles that he began his film career and at the same time worked out his theories about the fighting arts. He taught many people, but he shared his deepest thoughts with very few. One man who worked closely with him still teaches Bruce Lee's approach to fighting in his Los Angeles gymnasium. Bruce Lee called his system Jeet Kune Do, the way of the intercepting fist. Although he was a film star, he was a creative master, one of the men who have kept the fighting arts developing throughout the centuries. Those men who worked closely with him consider that he was a genius. He made Dan Inosanto think again about all that he had been taught about the fighting arts. Dan Inosanto doesn't teach Bruce Lee's revolutionary theories to everybody. What he looks for in a student is quick thinking and an openness, a flexibility of mind. Okay, just see what I'm going to do. One set on the right, one side on the left, okay? Right hand push up, but he begin. On the football field. Although Jeet Kune Do is based on Kung Fu, it uses many other techniques as well. It even incorporates Western boxing into the Eastern fighting arts. The students are taught to fight ferociously, and yet to be sensitive to their opponent. They must feel out his technique and respond to the energy of his attacks, taking it over and using it against him. Bruce Lee taught that the response to attack can be to use a technique from any fighting system in the world. It's a combination of East and West, and it's neither ja Japanese or Chinese or Okinawan or Korean or, or Filipino or Indonesian, or which he also borrowed from French Savat quite heavily also. See? So it's just a combination that, that somebody had something to offer, and he wanted to, to blend it into what worked for him. So Ji Kune Do, uh, Bruce's art, is basically what works for that individual. And it still goes back to what we're talking about, research your own experience, absorb what is useful, useful and reject what is useless and add specifically what is your own creation. Bruce never taught us forms and we're probably the only non-classical Kung Fu style that has never been taught forms. And according to Bruce, uh, if you taught forms, you'd be, it wouldn't be the mechanics. Okay, if you notice a lot of Chinese sets, they'll go like this, right? And they'll go like this, or they'll go like this, and they'll go like this, and then they'll do it with the left hand, see? Bruce was against forms because you don't know what it's for. Why not just practice it like this? And break then hit the groin and hit the face and hit rather than practice it like this and not know what the meaning is for for instance if I go like this why not practice rather do it in a set why not practice what it's for rather than do it in a set like this do it in a set like this and then student doesn't know what, he, what he's doing okay the basics over here is that you have a front barrier and you have a rear barrier so once the the kicking range has been closed and it usually is closed very quickly we trap the first barrier this is referred to as pox out Pox out there. Okay. Now, depending on his energy, he will come out with maybe as many as 12 different types of te techniques, depending on how much force he is given. This is called Lapsa Guachoy. Okay? Guachoy. Okay, from the position. Okay? This is what we refer to as, as trapping hands. Okay? Now, if the energy is different, this is what we refer to as a double pox out. Okay? Okay, when you do this, it's your choice. He can go into a bent elbow lock which is right here. He can, at his choice, go into a straight elbow lock, which is straight down like this. He can, at his choice, even go into a choke. 
depending on what he sewed his eyes. Okay? Or he can, at his choice, if he prefers to, after he does the pox al lops al guachoy, turn into Western boxing, jab, cross, back fist, uppercut, and so on, depending on his choice. Okay? He can, at his choice, even go into another art. Let's say he went to pox al, double pox al. Okay? He can, at his choice, maybe go into a partial elbow lock, okay? hook his right hand over his head, go in the collie type of combinations, if he so desire, okay? with a knee to the head. Okay? Now, let's say that I had a low reference point here. This is what they call uh, a pinchoy to guachoy, okay, from that position. Okay. And he can, depending on his energy, right, go into lopsa guachoy from that position. Okay. But this is the basis of it, see? There's not a lot of technique because the technique goes by his sensitivity. Okay. Let's say he does a pox out from this position here and the hand is grabbed. Okay. He can wrist lock that arm and he goes down. So it's not, is it grappling? Is it choking? It, it, it doesn't matter. You, you go according to the sensitivity it gives you. If you, if you limit yourself to a, a particular style, then you have to solve it. For instance, if, if I did a pox out, Wing Chun will go like this. It'll just sometimes go straight. Okay? There is no, maybe, I can flow into Kali from the position here. Because this is the uh, foundation that Bruce taught us. That it doesn't matter what art and where you take it from, you just flow accordingly to the to the structure of your body. So it doesn't have to be. And I think that's where the great fall in the world is. They think it's a Chinese. It is a Gung Fu style because its roots are found in, 50% of it is found in the Wing Chun system. But he went out of it, okay? There is not like the movies where you see the uh, give me a hook kick and a cyclone kick. It is, it is nothing something like, like this. Let's say we go like this and this stuff that you would see, very seldom Bruce would use. In, in all the confrontations that I've seen Bruce, an actual confrontation. I've never seen him do any of this at all unless he's just playing around with the man, okay? So all this high kicking and flashy kicking is, is usually out. For an example, right? This here, if he grabs my hand, Bruce would just go, stop, that's good enough. See? But you see, as Bruce said, what is spectacular for a movie is not usually practical for the street. And what is practical for the street is very dull for a demonstration. Who wants to see a guy go pox out? He got and he stopped and he headbutt. See? Or you hit up. It's not it's not spectacular enough, see? But now the, the spectacular stuff of this stuff here, it attracts the audience, right? But it's not where the art is at. See? This is where we are where Bruce said he was violently against. Bruce said that you had to have something between east and west. And I think in the Orient they tend to be over secretive. Uh, over flowery sometimes and hiding a lot. See, if you're secure in your knowledge, you don't have to hide it. Why hide it? You can just bring it out. And the eighth and final way of the warrior will be in two weeks' time.